Hello all. The only fundamental self-assessment round two. Self round two assessment five. The three questions need to be answered. What is prefab? In what situation would you like to make a prefab? Explain different types of rigid bodies along with their use case. We are making a game platform again. How do you make only one-way collision platform? What is a prefab? Prefab is a template or a blueprint of the object by uh, reusable template. We can make multiple objects of same type using a prefab. Uh, it is a, like we can instantiate multiple instances of the same object in the game world. In what situation we will make a prefab? It, when we need, need to create a multiple objects of the same settings or same uh, behavior, we will use prefab as a we will use the prefab to create multiple objects of same type. And for example, if you have any game like we have collectibles like keys or coins, we can make, there will be many in the number, like they may depending upon the requirement. So we will create one prefab of the key or coin, which has same physics and physical properties as well as the, like scale, size, whatever the size, scale, and other scripting behavior properties. And we will make the multiple instances of the same object. Like we will create multiple objects with using the prefab. So the every what if you want to change any particular uh, behavior or uh, any particular characteristics of the prefab, then we will make changes to the one object and we will apply to the all the objects. This is the benefit of the prefab. So it is like a template. And once we edit one object, it will be, the changes will be applicable to rest of the object as well. Okay. Collectible keys. Well, if it is as multiple enemies, we can make uh, enemies uh, prefab as well. So uh, whatever the multiple objects will have same characteristics and same properties. Okay. It, this will save the time and effort to create manually, create each object and each object we should, we have to assign particular behavior, particular size, particular physical properties like this is difficult. If we make a one, we can make multiple instances of the same. Explain different types of rigid bodies along with their use case. Different type of used rigid body. Rigid body is uh, allows uh, whenever we uh, use a rigid body to the uh, any uh, object if you add a rigid body component to object it will allow object to use physics forces like such as the gravity velocity it will work under physics environment and it will operate under this environment it will be affected by physics forces such as gravity and velocity okay the rigid body types are three types dynamic rigid body kinematic rigid body and static rigid body dynamic rigid body is a can be moved by four physical forces such as gravity. If we, we have attached a rigid body component to the an object, though we don't apply any force, it will fall down because it is affected by the gravity. The dynamic rigid body works like this, like it will affected by physical forces. Uh, kinematic be, and uh, also the dynamic rigid body can be scriptable, so we can make movements. Um, make, we can apply forces for dynamic rigid body like we can make behavior changes to the dynamic rigid body through scripting as well. Kinematic rigid body will not be affected by the fix, uh, physical forces like such as gravity. It won't fall down if you left in the game space. But it can move by scripting. It can move from one position to another position by scripting. Okay. Static rigid body like a stable rigid body such as walls, platforms. They will uh, they will uh, affected by physical forces like it will collide with dynamic or kinematic kinematic rigid body objects, but it will be static as a, uh, it won't move from anywhere. Like it will be like a wall, low wall type objects, platform type objects. We will use static rigid body. Okay. 
we are making a platform again how do you make a one way collision platform yes we have a component uh, if we have we have a power platform object and if we add a 2d platformer effector component this component allows to make collision in one way only like it will allow to allow game object to pass through in one direction and another direction it will collide and it will stop the object or player whatever the object so by using 2d platformer effector component we can make one way collision platform if you have a platform over the player so you can go from down to up you can go you can go above the platform from the below but you can't fall down when you stand on the platform this is a one way collision platform okay we have to use 2d platform effector component to apply and implement one way collision thank you hope my answer is clear thank you one and all